Hi, thanks for joining me. Um, I've recently started using an app called Procreate on the iPad. Um, it's $9.99 for the app. It's only available currently for Apple and it's a drawing app. Um, I've only had it a couple of weeks and I've been using it to draw my own croquet of myself from an image, from a photograph I took. And then I've been drawing on my sewing plans and I've had a, quite a few people ask me about the process and how I do it. So I thought I'd just share a little video. Now, I've only learned this through having a play around um, and drawing with it. So there's maybe better ways to do it. Um, there's a lot of things that I haven't learned yet, but I just thought I'd show you what I have been doing. So this is just an example of previous ones I've made. At the moment, I've just been drawing with one view of myself, but I had planned to do different poses and draw different sketches of myself. What I really like about it is that I've done this from a photograph of me. So this is actually my body. So this is my current one and I'll show you one from the beginning. So you use lots of different layers in here. The more layers, the better I found. So here's my starting image, which you add just up here. Insert a photo. Um, I don't have the Apple pen. This is just a pen that I bought for, I think it was 15 pounds off Amazon. Um, the Apple Pen does more than this one does, but for the time being, this suits me just fine. And I've been able to do everything, well, pretty much everything I've wanted to. The Apple Pen is touch sensitive, so you can get some really cool calligraphy writing with that. Anyway, so I've put in the picture of myself. I just go on and I reduce the opacity. I then add a new layer. I use the studio pen, which is there. Change the size, that'll do. I want it in black. And I start off by just simply drawing around myself. So I've already done this, so I'll skip to a quick video of um, how I do that. then have added in features um so i've drawn in my hair i've drawn in my breasts my belly button um you know little markers for where my uh oops knees and elbows are once i've got that drawn in i then went in and did the same with my face did that on a separate layer, just so that the more layers, the better, because the more you can erase and change just those singular layers. So next, what you want to do is I copy this layer and then I add in my skin tone. So I want this back to full opacity to get my actual skin tone. Just drag and drop in there. You can see that's just there. So I'll just take this out a second because then I can get my different skin tones. There. I actually, I think I'm going to go a bit darker. Because I think there I've just picked my lightest skin tone. There you go, that's better. Right, so there we go. I've got my skin tone in. And then I'm going to use the spray paint uh, fine nozzle. I'm just going to use the spray paint to add some different tones. Turn the opacity down. Oops. Right, what I've forgotten to do here is 
to put on your alpha lock and then it will only do the bit that the layer that's already been colored in I'm just going to move this to the side as a reference so that I can see what exactly it is, you know, what areas were darker. I chose to just take my picture in a vest top and pants um, because you can just do it in a bra and pants, so you can do it completely naked. Um, I chose to put a vest top on because I didn't really feel comfortable um, being in a bra and pants to do this video. But you can obviously do that. And um, I mean, if you want to, if you don't normally wear a bra, you cannot wear a bra for doing this. It's entirely up to you. It, I would say it depends what you normally wear under your clothes for me because I'm doing this for sewing I wanted it to be um what I would normally wear under my clothes you see but it depends what you're doing it for doesn't it so I'm quite happy with that now my face I did find my face a little bit tricky to do so I'm just gonna move my outline over the top and there you go so you get the definition right so for my face again I'm just going to duplicate that because I've already done my features and I'll just colour in you see one section so my teeth okay right so I want white to my eyes oops Again, that's because, there you go. So what you can do is, you can fill, keep your pen down, and it'll have a lower threshold and a higher threshold. If it's not filling in everything you want, or if it's filling in too much, you can do that. Right, so go for the colour of my lips next. Just holding your pen down will select the colour. And uh, I don't really do too much because I just kind of wanted it to be a bit of a cartoony sort of um, feel. So. Colour in my eyes. The blue. So it's not really picking up the colour of my eyes very well. Mm, so I'm just going to pick that myself. Oh, sort of bluey green eyes. And then I'm going to go back. Use my pen. So I do my hair on a separate layer, duplicate that, and then I'm going to put, put 
Mahakala. I can't actually remember how I did this the time before. But on this one, I've got my hair separate, you see. Maybe I just maybe I just erase though. Can't actually remember. Anyway, it's quite easy to do that look. If I just take out oops. There we go. So I'm going to put the alpha lock back on this. And then I'll add some different tones to my hair, just like I did with my body. So I've got quite a lot of different shades in my hair, really. It doesn't look very ginger, but I think that's just the light. So here we go. Go back to my airbrushing. Got my alpha lock on. And again, sort of depends really how much detail you want. That explains it. I've done quite a bit more detail in the other photo, but there we go. So my tattoos for this, I do a another layer. I select my picture of me. I want that to be back there. Then I make my body, in fact, just take, I can just take my body out if I want. I don't actually need it. Select the drawing tool again. I like having my tattoos on um, because they are a part of me and, you know, they're there all the time. Um so I do like having as much detail on really as possible, even though it's just a bit of a cartoony drawing. I do think it's quite nice to put all these little details in. Because what I really like about this is it's actually almost what the clothes will look like when they're made. And um, it's really nice to get a lifelike view of what things are going to look like on you and your body and your shape because you're not like anybody else. Although it's nice to see things on people with a similar shape as well. Funny, they don't really look like anything on this photo. Yeah, so there we go. You get the idea anyway. And um, where's my tattoos gone? Oh no. <laughs> right, so what I've done there is I've actually um drawn them on the original image i've forgotten to select the above layer hey well that's a bit annoying so yeah that's how i drew myself and then as you can see on here 
I have just built up my clothes in layers. So here's the outline of my Mysotis dress. And then I've drawn on the print. The layer these are ordered in, whatever is up here will be on top. So you need to make sure your outlines are above your fabrics and your bodies below. And then if you want, you can merge the layers together, which is there. And that, that will create, like here, it's all in one go. And then I can take out my layered version and there, I'm all in one go which is handy if you want to copy and paste it onto something else. So yeah, that, that's how I draw myself. And um, at some point, maybe I'll show you how I go around drawing my clothes and fabrics. Um, but they can be quite time consuming depending on what I'm drawing. So yeah, I hope that was helpful.